Hey, welcome back to our beginner guitar lesson course at worshiptutorials.com. My name's Brian. Today, we are going to learn your first basic uh, strumming pattern in 4-4 time. And if you're just joining us on YouTube, uh, please do head over to Worship Tutorials. There's a link below. Sign up for this course. It's completely free. It'll step you all the way from never playing a guitar before to playing full songs. You're catching us in uh, sort of the beginning uh, of our rhythm and strumming uh, section where we're going to learn all about time signatures, how to count, how to play different strumming patterns, and we're going to end up playing full songs here in just a bit. <clears throat> If you'd like to just stay on YouTube, no problem there. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube and you'll stay up with the content we're putting out in this course. So today we're going to learn our very first strumming pattern. It's in 4-4 time. So in the last lesson we talked about how to count in 4-4 time, what a quarter note is, what an eighth note is, and what a sixteenth note is. We're going to need to know all of those things for this lesson, but before we get going, I'm going to show you what the strumming pattern looks like. So to demonstrate the first strumming pattern, it goes like this. Okay. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Slow it down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up, one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, we learned about quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes in our last lesson, and these strums fall on the sixteenth notes in the measure. So it goes like this one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So you can see that all of the ups or the downs land on a 16th note. Okay, so again, just to demonstrate this pattern, it goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. A couple notes about uh, when you strum. Your elbow needs to stay pretty much uh, stationary on the guitar. In other words, you don't want all of the strumming motion to come from your elbow. You want most of it to come from your wrist. So if you watch my elbow, you'll see it move a little bit, but most of the motion uh, when I strum needs to be right here on the wrist. If you don't, if you keep all of this stiff and all of the movement comes from your elbow, it goes like this. So for one, it's it's really, uh, you don't have a lot of control, a lot of finesse. You can't can't make it sound softer and and it's hard to get like a good a good fluid sounding rhythm that way the next thing is how you hold your pick you want to hold it loose enough that you have some control so it just kind of glides over the strings but you don't want to hold it so loose that it flies out of your hand every time it hits something and the way I like to hold it I like to put the pick so that it points in the same direction as my finger and then I like to take my thumb and place it across the pick like this. So the thumb goes across and, and your finger is pointing up and the pick is pointing the same direction as your finger. And don't hold it too tight. Again, if you hold it too tight, you get this. You really don't have any control. You want to hold it loose enough that the pick can just glide over the strings. Okay? So uh, again, our pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. As you practice this pattern, uh, practice changing chords at the end of every, say, one or two measures. So it would go like this. We're just going to go from a G to a C. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. Here comes a chord change. C. Back to G. A couple notes about changing those chords. Uh, since you're just starting out, it's likely that the chord changes are going to take some time and they're gonna break away from the timing. If you're getting the strumming pattern down, it's gonna kind of break away from the timing of that. So you'll play this G. And now it's time to change. You might have to pause. Okay, where is the C again? Okay, yeah, I put my fingers here and here. Or maybe you haven't memorized these chords yet and you have to refer to the diagrams that are available, uh, which is why it's very important to memorize the chords. And then you can come back to, this, to the strum. And now it's time to change chords again. 
that's okay. It'll come with time as your muscle memory builds and you get to where you can just switch between chords more fluently, that gap of timing will eventually just go away. But um, at first, it's, it's, I remember it like this. I remember my brain knew where my fingers wanted to go, but my fingers just wouldn't go there. And it was frustrating, but just keep going with it um, and, and it'll happen. It'll just get easier and easier the more you practice. So your homework for this lesson is gonna be to spend some time every day if you can, 15 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day if you've got it, that would be awesome, it will really help you. Uh, spend some time practicing this strumming pattern, practicing changing chords. The last tip, and this is a bit more of an advanced tip, uh, is I like to keep my, my, my wrist going in a 16th note motion. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. I think you almost kind of have to for this to get back to the downs and the ups. But even if I'm not strumming, I like to keep my, my wrist going and my strumming hand in this motion because it allows everything to be more smooth. One thing you might notice when you're, when you're practicing this is your strumming might sound like this. That is because you're not, uh, you, you haven't built up that sort of smooth rhythm in your wrist, which is why it's important not to do this. You want it to be kind of here. So if before you get going, maybe just kind of practice just getting your hand going like this and count those 16th notes. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and. Uh. You wanna keep everything kind of relaxed. You don't want your muscles tensed up while you're trying to do this. You want things kind of relaxed, really fluid. And then when you start strumming, it'll be much smoother. <laughs> But if it sounds a little jerky or, uh, or kind of not very fluid or smooth in the beginning, don't worry about that. That comes with time. Good luck on this strumming pattern. I'll see you in the next lesson where we're going to learn a few more patterns in 4-4 four, four time and then we're going to learn some in 6-8 time as well. See you then.